picture seven up in Washington. Tattooed everything. All the love gone bad. Turned my world to black. Tattooed lies. This is one of my favorite poems. This song is um the poem was written by my best friend Pam Harcourt. And um <laughs> Pam has some fans in the room. And, uh, <laughs> um, and so it's just, it's just an incredible poem. And though I'm not a woman, I think that the themes in it are, are universal. And uh, I think that you'll agree. So this is called Nouns and Verbs. This is called Nouns and Verbs. Maybe you haven't noticed this, but women are not verbs but nouns. What really crawls up my ass is, though, that I don't even get a say in which noun is me. You know I'd pick Ursa Major, or Krispy Kreme, or Xena Warrior Princess, or Strike Power, or Knife. And I know you'd pick Standing Ovation, or Yellow Rose of Texas, or 
bandit queen, or physics, or growl. Instead, we get, you know what we get. We get fat bitch, stupid cunt, ugly whore, fucking cow, etc. The old dependables. They're almost universal. There's your next Benetton ad. What else are we assigned? With, with what other nouns are we gifted? We get gold digger, we get slut, we get shrew, we get fucking dyke, we get shovel, bucket, and hoe, we get dishpan hands, we get typist, we get strong back until we get broken back. We get wine, we get nag, we get dirt, nausea, fatigue, envy, pettiness, materialism, stupidity, nice try, good girl, scabby ankles and crawling knees, dustpan, mop, apron, pantyhose, shoes not for walking, mouths not for talking, ponds for drowning and pills for downing, lipstick, pumice stone, douche, earlobes, fingernails, lower back, thighs and ass, be mute and be seen, lie down and be clean, sweat, hurt and smile, wink, hug, giggle, sigh, inches to be pink, pinched and punched, pig, diet, hunger, shame, indifference, possession and violation, apology and survival skills. We get cheerleader and tambourine and groupie, lingerie and martyr, virgin and tiara, spinster and comfort woman, plucking and poverty, loneliness and lemons, osteoporosis and malignant, cock tease, kitchen, clitoridectomy, cat and fish, ring finger, beer goggles, airhead, trophy wife, punching bag, welfare queen, cherry pie, one of the guys, blackened eye, cramps, bruise, broken bone, dust and drudgery, nostalgia, yesterday and maybe tomorrow, pain, terror and rape, gutter, betrayal, self-loathing, grief, desperation. I don't know where to begin even giving these back or making them optional. These nouns, these baseball bats, these fists, these black holes, these bosses, these pig dogs, these ditches reeking of corpses, these scabs, these white hoods, these hammerhead sharks, these police states, these cheap toupees, these revisers of history, these cat killers, these uninvited leering erections, these earthquakes, these nightsticks, these mass firings, these caskets, these thugs, these roofies, these lies and these liars, the spit and vile, these racist jokes, these gay bashers, these oceans of scum, these cunt haters, these fists in the throat, these religions, these anvils, these prison cells, these lynchings, these bloody plastic fetuses, these fangs, these whitewashers, these rusty razors, these pushers, these suicide notes that are pre-written for me and in my hand upon waking when all I wanted to do with my day was get high and go to the video store. I guess all I can do is to start with a couple of verbs. And I guess the first one is to start and choose and refuse and laugh and kick ass and take names and organize and push and push harder and make a fucking fist and take what I need and yell what I know and watch out for my sisters and make a goddamn scene and think up more verbs that are me and mine. To interrupt, to intimidate, to dare, to decide, to teach, to terrify, to climb, to create, to subvert, to struggle, to strut, to scowl, to howl, to fuck, to fuck you, to take aim, to lasso, to liberate, or to lead, to speed on by, to step right up, to kickbox, to demand, to rule, to win, to understand, to illuminate, to glitter, to glow, to sear, to soar, to choose, to live. Trying to get her up here to do a to do a reading. She doesn't believe how successful she is in her own absence. <laughs> um.
going to do one last song, and, uh, and um, before I do, I would really like to thank all of you for coming, because this has been like one of the biggest nights of my life, and you all made it that for me, so thank you. Yeah. And, um, to get to this point and um, this song I, this last song that I'm going to do I wrote about uh, kind of fear and how um, fear can paralyze you if you if you let it get the best of you and how we all have to struggle with ourselves and with society to push through the things to push ourselves to do the things that we know are right to stand up against injustice when we know that that's what we need to do to build a picket line if that's what we need to do, to go out and smash the clan if we know that that's what we need to do, to make sure that we do everything in our power to stop police brutality if that's what we know we need to do. And everyone has their own personal fears and everyone has their own fears about you know, getting out and being among other people and doing those things. So this song was written about fear. It's called Leave Them Hanging. This is the last song on the CD. Sometimes I hang my fears on the darkest farthest star, but they always find their way home to the back seat of your car. Scared outside of you. Last time I dared to be myself, got me all so black and blue. Now every time I see you come, it's better than before. Flying backwards 
Once you've opened up the cage Cause love flies out just like the black birds It's better than before
the other and to my dearest Harmony Hearts, my partner in crime, the Safini and Rosie Hill, everybody who played tonight. Thank you all for coming. Peace to you. Thank you. Hey, uh, I am going to get off the stage right now. This is Dan Bernard behind me. But Dale is going to come up and, and do a song so that uh, you can all hear his something from his CD that's coming out next week. And it's a really beautiful CD. Okay. So they'll do, I just kind of put you on the spot. I'm going to go over and uh, by the CD table, a bunch of people ask me to sign it. And so I'll do that if anyone wants to. Dale Wilson! Thank you. Hey, uh, okay, yeah, I got a CD coming out next week. Zeno's Cafe. Uh, May 12th. It's called Down Communication. Dale and I. Okay, Dan Menard, who was playing with the camera over here, is going to be playing there. And Matt Olsman is just incredible. He's going to be playing there. But I am not going to do anything off the CD because, uh, I'm, I'm a, because you know, I, I wrote this new song, and it's kind of a fast song. See, I don't have a lot of real fast songs like Blair does, you know? I kind of want to keep the groove going here. This is, this is a new song I wrote. This song is called Maybe. <laughs> everybody. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Otis. I'm on a 
short leash here, I think. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Robert, could you help me out, my friend? Yeah, would you, could you help me out with the drums? I need the...